let's talk about Redshift. So if you're a separate science student, you probably know a rough idea of what Redshift is, but you might not get marks on a question like this because you've got to be very specific with your language. So the question talks about all these lights coming from these distant galaxies represented in the figure here. Um, first question is what is meant by Redshift? So the first thing to look at is what is Redshift? Um, if you are standing on planet Earth and if you were to observe light from distant galaxies that are moving far away, now what happens is the let, the light is shifted slightly towards the red end of the spectrum. It's not red, um, but it's shifted slightly the light that comes from it. If you were to hypothetically have someone the other side of this galaxy that's moving towards them, the light would be blue because the wavelength has got a bit smaller because the velocity of the galaxy is going towards that person as opposed to it's stretched out here. So how we'd say that in words is something like the increase in wavelength of light from these galaxies. Um, and you'd say as the galaxies are moving away from us. The next question is, how does it provide evidence for the Big Bang Theory? Now, we've got a clue in this question because it actually looks, uh, shows us the velocities of all these different galaxies and how they're moving away from our galaxy, the Milky Way. You know, just the ones that are closer have a small arrow. The ones that are further away have larger arrows. That's really important into understanding how it provides evidence for the Big Bang. So what we'd say is, first mark is just saying that point. So we say the further the galaxies are, faster they travel. So what that then suggests is that at some point in time, um, they all started from one point. And that's what the Big Bang is. It's the idea that a whole universe, so all these different galaxies started at one point and then it expanded outwards um, ever since.